Welcome back everyone. Again, this is Computer Science 0478, the pre-release material pseudocode solution of uh, May-June uh, 21, uh, paper 2, variant 1. In uh, this session here, I'm going to uh, introduce the solution itself. Uh, what are the main steps here? What are the main points that you need to go through uh, to uh, accomplish or to complete task uh, 1? and then task two and then task three let's start okay uh, so in task one here setting up the voting system to allow the tutor to group uh, tutor group to elect a representative so the first thing that you need to do here let's have a kind of a simple simulation of the program after we complete the pseudocode solution the first uh, question should appear to the user is to enter the name of the tutor group so this is this could be a prompt and then you need to to input for example a tutor group like say for example 8c this is uh, one of the tutor groups and then the next question will ask you to enter the number of students in the tutor group so this is another prompt okay so this is what uh, i represented uh, earlier which is talking about the prompting the user okay uh, enter the number of students uh, students in the tutor group then you should input for example a value between 28 and 35 let's say for example 29 students uh, this value should be accepted in other cases here that if you input for example 30 37 this value should be invalid and then you have to show a message error or, uh, or an error error message okay uh, which is telling that this value is not accepted or invalid and then another question here is to enter the number of candidates in the election a maximum of four candidates also we should validate the input here let's say for example the user by mistake he input negative uh, four so this also sh should be invalid okay so uh, in other situations where the value should be accepted let's say for example he input three candidates on the group this value is accepted then we should go through the, uh, the program the next step here is to enter the names of the candidates so we might input a name for a candidate for example candidate one or candidate two candidate three whatever okay the next question here should ask you input your vote or abstain so in, uh, in the case that you want to vote you might press letter v for example okay so a message here uh, should uh, appear to the user asking him input v if you want to vote or input uh, a for example if you want to uh, abstain okay so this is for task one and for task two here which is uh, checking the students only vote once we need to check that the student is voting only one time so you need to uh, extend task one to achieve the following okay uh, each student is given a unique vote, voter number by the teacher then extend the task one to achieve the following uh, allow students to enter their unique voter uh, number before casting their vote okay and then each uh, check whether the student is, has already voted if he has already voted then uh, you should show a suitable message and do not allow him to uh, allow them to vote if the vote if he didn't vote before then store the unique voter number but not the their vote do not uh, allow them to vote in this uh, case uh, just uh, store do not uh, store their uh, their vote just uh, store their unique voter number in a suitable data structure which mostly is going to be an array here and add their vote to the uh, relevant candidate count or abstention okay task two these are the uh, questions that should appear and the simulation of the program enter your unique voter number let's say for example he inputs let's say the number is uh, 7b1 this is a unique voter number and then you should search for uh, this number if the student have uh, voted before or not okay if he uh, voted then this message should appear uh, as uh, error message uh, you voted before not allowed to vote again uh, if he uh, if you search for this number uh, for this voter number and you found it in the uh, previous uh, uh, data 
uh, if not, if you didn't find this before and uh, he didn't vote before, then store the unique voter number. That's it. Store the unique voter number in the appropriate uh, data structure. Task three, which is uh, mainly here talking about showing uh, statistics and dealing with a tie. Okay, extend the task two to achieve the following. Calculate the percentage of the votes that each candidate received from the vote uh, from the number of votes uh, Past, excluding abstention okay so here you need to calculate the percentage to to find the percentage here you need to first find the total number of votes and then uh, you uh, divide the uh, the number of votes for a specific candidate okay on the total uh, votes okay this will give you the percentage multiply by 10 by 100 for uh, for sure to give you the percentage of votes then display the name of each candidate. You need to display this. How to display, we are going to talk about this later. Okay, the number of votes uh, and the percentage of votes they receive from the number of votes cast. And then excluding abstention, you need to exclude the number of abstentions here. So you need first to store whenever someone selects to uh, abstain. So you need to have uh, a variable, another variable here to store the number of abstentions. And then you need to exclude this. Display the total number of votes cast in the election and the number of abstentions uh, in the event of a tie. Allow the election to be immediately run again, okay, with only the tie candidates as uh, candidates and all the candidates, all the students from the tutor group voting again. So here, uh, if some, uh, if two or more candidates are equal, equally have uh, the highest number of votes then you need to uh, the election to run again immediately to run again with only the tied uh, candidates uh, as ca uh, candidates and uh, all the students from the tutor group to vote once again task three here which is mainly showing st statistics calculate the percentage of votes that each candidate received from the number of votes cast excluding abstention Okay, also you need to display, to show, or to print, or to output uh, the name of each candidate, the number of votes, and the percentage of votes they received from the number of votes cast, excluding abstention. Let's say, for example, here, uh, display the name. So this should be displayed like this, this uh, candidate one. Okay, uh, the number of votes here has 16 votes. So this is the first point. This is the second point. And then the percentage of votes they received. The percentage here of 50% for candidate one. Let's say, for example, if we have three candidates in our situation here, it might be one or two or three or four maximum. So you must display the name of the candidate, the number of votes he, he received, and then the percentage uh, for that specific candidate out of 100%. Okay, then you need also to display the total number of votes cast in, in the election and the number of abstention. Okay, uh, the number of votes, the total number of votes, and the number of abstentions. Okay, so the message should be displayed like this. The total number of votes is, for example, 32 and 3 abstentions. So that means 35 in total. Three of them uh, abstain. Okay, and then uh, at the end, in the event of a tie, allow the election to immediately run again with only the tied candidates as candidates and the, uh, uh, all the students from the tutor group voting once again. Okay, that's all for this uh, session. On the next session here, we are going to go through task one pseudocode solution uh, step by step in details. Okay, uh, how to write the pseudocode solution for task one. This is, our, this is going to be our main uh, task for the next video. See you there.